Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and today we are going to make some grooves using some of the ideas from the previous videos, those warm-ups for technique and creativity. So we're going to take the double sticking, just right, right, left, left, or left, left, right, right, depending on which hand you've got on your cymbal, and we're going to turn them into half-time grooves in 4-4. Four, four. Now, for 16th notes, when you get to beat 3, where your snare drum backbeat would be, you have to pull your cymbal leading hand, be it right or left, down to your snare drum. So without any kicks, that's going to sound just like this. Now, if I were to put a kick in just on beat one, it would sound like this. Now, it's up to you if you want to do a double with that accent or if you just want to leave that last note out. I highly recommend you work on these both left and right. Alright, once you got a handle on that, then it's time to do it as triplets. Now, this is another one of those ones where the sticking doesn't necessarily line up with the quarter note. So to start, if you haven't checked out my triplet video on that hand warm-up, make sure you do so. I'm going to annotate a link to it right here. Just go check it out and come back to this video. So the way it's going to line up against the quarter note is this. The nice thing about that is that your hand that's on the snare drum is already playing on beat 3. So all we have to do is accent it, we don't need to move anything around like we did in the 16th notes. Once you actually get that feeling pretty good, now it's time to actually put the two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to do three bars of the 16th notes, followed by a bar of the triplets. Now, of course, you can also do this the other way. So start with the triplets and use the 16th notes as a fill. So, I hope you have some fun with that groove, learning it, and helping advance your technique. Until next time, I'm Aaron Edgar. Please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.